Hey there! Favorite movie scenes. One of my favorite movies is called Plunkett and McLean. Severely underrated in my mind. Beautiful British movie, fantastic, great humor, great action scenes, superb. And my favorite character in that movie is the Earl of Rochester. And at some point, the Earl of Rochester is asked by one of the two protagonists in the movie, Captain James McLean, Rochester, do you still swing both ways? And the Earl of Rochester says, Jamie, I swing every way. And I've always loved that line. In fact, I love that movie so much that when I've, I've stolen one of the Earl of Rochester's other lines, uh, and I use it every time people ask me what it is I do for a living, because I teach psychology, and every time I say, when they ask me that, I say, I corrupt the young. Okay, now, having said that, you know what also swings both ways? This pen. Because this is the Waldmann 2-in-1. Now, here's the deal. Looks like a ballpoint, right? Boom. Ballpoint. But wait. There's more! <clears throat> I got very excited there. Boom. It's a ballpoint, fountain pen, fountain pen, ballpoint, 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 fountain pen. How do you like them apples? So here you have one instrument that actually writes on both ends, that has advantages and disadvantages, which of course I will cover for you in this video. A very kind thank you to Jos Applebaum for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. I'm going to show you the parts of the pen in more detail, then I'll do a writing sample, and finally I'll tell you what I like about this pen and what I not like about this pen. Let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at this Waldmann 2-in-1 giant box. It's, uh, it's really quite big. Cardboard outer box, and then you have this big box which is also quite heavy. It has a nice metal thing going on there, that's me being reflected in the thing. Waldmann, uh, it says Waldmann and then it says made in Germany since 19, I'm pretty sure it says 18, but I can't really read the engraving there. Opens up, 19, I'm pretty sure it's 18. I've had a Waldmann before, it's quite a nice pen brand, I, I like their nibs a lot. I've not used their steel nibs before, but they're quite nice. Okay, what do we have? We have the Minenwechsel Kugelschreiber mit Drehmechanik. Uh, which is useful, shows you how to uh, ink up your pen. We have a little box of cartridges. I did not use these up. I put in a regular blue cartridge that I had lying around. We have a little medallion that shows you that the pen is made of sterling silver. Ironically, it's made of plastic. There is a little polishing cloth, useful for silver pens, and there is a little warranty card, which you can use. Interesting that it does come with some fountain pen cartridges, but not with additional ballpoint refills. Okay, let's look at the pen. I'm going to zoom in a bit for you. There we have it, and I'll show you this right next to the Lamy Safari. So you can see it's a bit longer, it's also a bit skinnier. Let's look at the parts of this pen. The finial, clear, silver, nothing going on there, and the clip that has the Waldmann logo. On this center band it says Waldmann and on the other side made in Germany. There is a fine barley pattern on this pen which is quite nice and as I said all of this is sterling silver. The pen has, let's look at the fountain pen part first because this barrel is very ever so slightly tapers down for the ballpoint, but it's a pretty solid barrel. There's not much difference. It's pretty uniform in diameter. Number five nib, in this case steel. Uh, this is the fine steel nib. The pen costs 212 euros and you can upgrade to an 18 karat nib for 209 euros, including 21% VAT. That's quite a lot because that basically means that if you want to buy a gold nib, the price of the pen doubles, which I think is a bit much, to be fair, but okay. Section, I'm assuming silver too, right? 
uh, it's skinnier, it's a thinner pen. It works pretty nicely though, from even from I find it quite comfortable. As I said, steel nib number five plastic feed. This part of the pen is fed through a single cartridge, right? Which is almost empty, but I'm, I think I can make this work for the writing sample. You cannot put a second cartridge in here because uh, that's where the filling mechanism for the ballpoint goes. I wonder if it would fit a Caveco uh, squeeze type converter. I don't remember if I tried, I'm sorry. Now here we have a ballpoint, right? Ballpoint tip, which is activated by a quick push, which is pretty quiet, quiet mechanism, which I enjoy. And then in here, <coughs> a slightly convoluted system I found. Uh, there is the spring, and then there is this small Schmidt refill, a little metal part that has to go on top of that, and then there is this spring. Now I will come back to the ballpoint part and how well or not well that mechanism works. Uh, I think I've covered what it is, so sterling silver, full fountain pen, ballpoint, it does everything. Let's see how it writes. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. Of course I have two writing samples to do here. I'll start with the fountain pen. It does not post, which is one of my disappointments, but that's okay. Waldmann, two in one. This is the steel fine nib, and the ink is just what was in the cartridge. It's just a blue cartridge, okay? I don't even know what brand it is. I just had it lying around. The Waldmann nibs, I have used a Waldmann before. I think it was called the Tango, uh, that had a gold nib, and that was a very pleasant pen to use. A very nice smooth nib and this is a steel nib but it's polished nicely and it writes very smoothly so I really do enjoy that. Fast writing really lays down a pretty nice consistent even line which I really enjoy. Wetness, well it's not a gusher and I have found that this nib Although it writes pleasantly, for my liking it could be a little wetter, but then it is a fine, right? Line variation, as always, very, very careful. There is a little bit, not a whole lot. And then reverse writing is possible, and you turn this fine into an extra fine for sure, if not extra, extra fine. Okay. I have found this refill to be a bit of a pain, and here's why. You see it sticks out quite far now, but it, I don't know if you just saw that, it pushes back in. Now in fact you can pull the whole thing out. Something is off here. I know this is a defect, but I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I don't think, I've never used a bullet point where you could do this, right? So this freaks me out a little bit. Also when you withdraw it, Right, and this sticks out a bit farther. If I withdraw it, it doesn't fully withdraw. You have to put it in. Now, that was something caused by me, but I have been writing with it, and I, um, I, I pulled it back, and I ended up with something like this. Like the tip sticking out just a tiny bit, and you have to push it all the way in yourself. So, interesting. I'm not sure that system really is perfect. So, here we have the ballpoint, though. Uh, yes, my ballpoint handwriting is different from my fountain pen handwriting. I don't know why. It writes pleasantly though, I, I will say that. The only issue is with the cap, it's a little top heavy. It's all silver, so you do feel that weight a bit. And maybe that's why they didn't want to make it post, but I would really love to be able to use that fountain pen with a nice deeply posted cap. I think it would be very uh, comfortable. Anyway, okay, so I don't have to do line variation here, I don't have to do wetness, I don't have to do any of those things, of course, because it's a ballpoint, but yeah, it's a ballpoint, and it writes, and it's kind of convenient to have that available to you quickly, quick click, and you can write, which is not a bad thing, so I like what Waldmann was trying to do here with this, this two-in-one concept, I think it's, it's quite nice. Okay, let's look at what I like about it, and what I 
don't like about it. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Waldmann 2 in 1? Well, the obvious thing to comment on, it's two writing instruments in one, and I think it's cool. You have a fountain pen and a ballpoint in one go. It, it's useful, and I found myself using both of these things. Sometimes you want to make quick notes, and you do that, or you want to write something a bit more extensively, and you use the fountain pen. I think there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, I like the steel nib because it's very smooth, even though it is a fine, uh, it's very smooth. It doesn't have the same bounciness that the, uh, the gold nibs that Waldmann uses have and that I have used in the past, but it is very pleasant to use, so I do really enjoy it. I also find it pretty comfortable. Yes, it is a little skinny, uh, but I do find it comfortable enough to use, especially because it's silver, that makes it a little heavier, which I kind of enjoy. Things I don't like so much. Uh, there is three things that I don't like so much. The first is that a converter is a little problematic because there isn't much space because the ballpoint refill, but I haven't been very active in finding a converter that fits. There is the small um, Caveco converter, maybe that would fit. So, I mean, that there, 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 you may have some options. My biggest issue is uh, no, let me let me first say the other thing that's kind of an aesthetic thing. I think it looks a little weird when you write in fountain pen mode. In ballpoint mode, it's not an issue, right? Because the fountain pen cap, it looks just like a, a fancy ballpoint. But in the fountain pen mode, and this, by the way, illustrates the point I've just shown, I was talking about earlier, you see that the tip didn't retract fully. There you go. In fountain pen mode, I think it looks a little weird. This would be very easy to solve if they would have made this pen postable, but it's not. The cap just falls off. So that is a, a bit of a missed opportunity, because I think if this would, if this cap was designed in such a way that it would post rather deeply, uh, like this, I think that would make for a very pleasant visual aesthetic, which you're now kind of missing out on. The biggest issue for me is the weird ballpoint refill that kind of just pops out. Uh, again, I don't know if that's a defect on this specific pen. Uh, it's not really an issue as you write because obviously you're putting pressure on it so it won't just fall out. But the fact that it doesn't always retract fully after use, uh, I don't know if I can reproduce it, there you go. Uh, it doesn't retract fully, that's a bit of an issue. Put this in a, in a shirt pocket and if this moves past your shirt you're going to have a blue line. right? I think this pen would make a really good gift for someone if you're not sure if they really like fountain pens, they always have the ballpoint to use. So I think there is tremendous potential beyond the obvious of having to use two, having the um, um, access to two writing modes at the same time. But if I'm going to gift someone a pen, I want to make sure that it's perfect, right? And with this ballpoint not always retracting 100% or even the I just did it. I just flung it. I thought to see see what would happen, and the whole refill came out. That to me is a bit of an issue. And again, I don't know if it's this particular pen. If you own one, let me know if you've experienced this too in a comment below because I would really appreciate this, and I think so would other viewers. That's it. A lot of potential. I love a lot about this pen, but there's a few small hiccups that I don't care for so much. Joost, thank you for lending me this pen. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.